A lot of people ask me, what's the hardest part of doing one of my drawings? And my answer always is, figuring out what to draw next. Because once I know what I'm going to draw, the fun really begins. Choosing the animal is the hard part, but once I have that, it becomes very easy, and the process goes very fast. I start by researching the animal. If I'm going to put 40 hours of time into a drawing, I really want to know about my subject. I'll research on the internet, find out if it's endangered, how many are left in the wild. And then I start to look at reference pictures so I can get a real feel for how I'm going to start to draw the composition for the piece. The composition is probably the most important part of the drawing. How are you going to fit this animal onto a rectangle if it's horizontal or vertical? In this case, the red crown crane that I'm drawing, I chose a vertical shape and I really wanted to draw the neck in a certain way that it felt almost constrained by the shape yet breaking out of it in freedom. Once I've figured out my composition, I'll start to sketch and do rough drawings before I start to do my final drawing onto the piece of paper. After I've sketched it onto the piece of paper, I'll start to draw in colored pencil. And I usually start at the eye. It's just a spot on the piece that gives it a feeling that it's coming alive as I'm drawing. So I'll start with the eye and then I'll continue out and work through the rest of the drawing onto the neck and down onto the feathers. Feathers can be a challenge, but I really enjoy doing them once I get into them. And working on different ways to make them feel soft and light, especially when it comes to white feathers, which you would think, white, how am I gonna draw a white feather on a white piece of paper? But actually, white feathers are sometimes the most interesting pieces to draw. When I'm finally satisfied with the drawing of the animal, I begin filling in the black background. I draw the black in several directions on top of each other to make it as dense as possible. And when I finally filled it all in, I'm done. I hope this gives you some insight into my creative process. Drawing animals is a passion I continually want to do. And by the way, I'm already thinking of the next animal to draw right now. <laughs>